Warning, before you begin, this video is not a replacement for reading and understanding the precautions and procedures outlined in the service manual. It is a training aid for qualified and authorized service professionals. Also, be sure to reference the user manual, the installation guide, and the service manual for any further questions as well as warnings that may apply to this particular unit. Begin by unplugging the unit. To remove the freezer drawer, depress the locking tabs with a flat blade screwdriver and pull the rails out of the tracks. To remove the ice maker, unscrew the two Phillips head screws. Once the screws are removed, slide the ice maker towards the front of the unit to release it from the locking tabs. Once the ice maker is removed, remove the three Phillips head screws holding the evaporator cover in place. Once the screws are removed, pull from the bottom of the evaporator cover out and down to remove the cover. Being careful of the wiring connections in the upper right hand corner. Unclip the wire connectors to fully remove the cover. Adjust the evaporator inlet line by pushing back away from the evaporator cover slightly up to avoid it from touching the evaporator as well. Be sure to check and make sure it does not touch or hit any other portion of the evaporator or evaporator cover. Then replace the evaporator cover and reassemble the unit. 